Well, hello, fellow leggers. You know, sometimes you can go a bit crazy for a show. Or a bit mad for well, a show. That's what we are right now, because we are at the regional premiere, probably one of the hottest plays outside of London this year. And that is The Madness of George III here at the Nottingham Playhouse. So stay tuned to find out how many stars, whether it's break a leg or leg it. So um, I guess you're probably wondering why we're so excited about this. Yeah, why are we going mad over the madness of George III? Well, can we just start with the cast for one moment here? Mark Gatiss. Crazy good talent. Mark Gatiss in the lead role. We've also got Adrian Scarborough in this production. Fantastic. Yeah, we saw him in Don Juan in Soho uh, last year, and that was phenomenal. I can't get enough of that man. Mark Gatiss, of, obviously, of doc, of um, he's been in Doctor Who, he's been in Sherlock. Sherlock, that's what I was thinking of. Um, did, wasn't he up for a um, Olivia Award a couple of years ago for what we saw in, was it Good? Our Country's Good? Three country? Days in the Country. Three Days in the Country, that's yeah. it. Yeah. He had a phenomenal monologue. He did have Boy, a phenomenal monologue. He's such an absolute talent. We've also got Deborah Gillett in the role of Queen Charlotte here. She's known from um, for the Midwife show. Call the Midwife. <laughs> Call the Midwife. The I don't midwife watch telly. Show. <laughs> Too busy <laughs> theatre. And it's a very good cast. Now, for those of you who don't know, Madness of George III is an Alan Bennett play. That's a name that you might recognise. It first premiered in 1991 and had a film adaptation a few years later. Critical acclaim, loads of awards thrown at it for its original production. Fun fact, Adrian Scarborough, who in this production is actually playing Dr. Willis, was in the film adaptation as another character. So he's already got ties to this. Wow, how it's about that? Like come full circle for him, hasn't it? Director, Adam Penford. Yes, who's the artistic director here at the Nottingham Playhouse. And as we alluded to at the beginning, the most exciting thing is, I think as far as we know, this is the first regional NT Live, or at least I there's not so. been um, many outside of London that get no. a broadcast to cinemas across the globe. I mean, let us know down below, but we think this is the first kind of regional one. Yeah, which, what a massive accolade. And with a cast and creative like this, it's not that much of a surprise, but we're thrilled to be here for press night. It has an interval, so we'll be catching up with you then for our 30 second interval breakdown. And stick around to the end to hear our thoughts and find out how many stars. We've come to the interval, which means it's time for the Breaker Leggers 30, 30 second, second interval, interval breakdown. breakdown. Go, Go, what do you, you think? think so far? You go first. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm gripped by the piece. Um, I'm not a huge Alan Bennett fan. Fan. I, in fact, I'm not Ooh, hugely familiar with all of his work, but I'm not overwhelmed. What about you? Um, I think there's some really good, strong, solid performances from the company. Um, it's moving very well between its many scenes. Scarborough is a dream. Gatiss is acting it perfectly. Possibly too soon to say. Let's see what the second act brings. Well, I suppose you're wondering if you'd be mad to miss the madness of George III. Where do I get them from, guys? Where? <laughs> they just keep on coming. Don't they? Um, so, we've come to the end. Mm. Um, it wasn't, I thought it'd be quite long, actually, but it, it's quite, actually quite zippy. Yeah, it's about around two and, two and a half, half hours. hours with an interval. Yeah. So, it moved very swiftly. It did. Um, we need to break this down into many elements. Yes, there are, there are layers upon layers here, which is what it takes to make a great show. But, was this a great show? That's the question. I would say the strength for me was twofold. The performances were, by and large, brilliant. Okay, so we'll, do you want to touch on performances now? Yeah, I mean, let's go for okay, it. Okay, let's, let's go for the lead. Um, Mark Gatiss is absolutely fantastic. We know this anyway. Yeah, do you know what? Like, he, he is a, a genius, he's intellectual, he's a great writer as well. Is this, is this anything to do with what we've just seen or just general? You just love In Mark Gates, right? Yeah. You're just going for it. Yeah. We're going okay. for it. He's a great writer. He's yes. done some fantastic writing yes. for um, TV drama, yes. books as well. Yes. Like He's a very intelligent yeah. guy and Clearly that intelligence intelligent. transfers, I think, into his performance. It was a very intellectual performance. I absolutely agree. This is a man who knows his craft. This is a man that most importantly takes us on a journey um, and 
with a character like this, there is a, it, a huge arc, and it's an arc which is, you have to be very skilled and very reasoned with the decisions that you make, because it could be quite easy to go too wild with it. I think you could go yes. maniacal with this part, and he does not do that. It's a believable malady. It sort of touches on elements that the madness that he experiences, if you don't know, King George III in real life was mad. Um, he had syphilis, in fact, they believe, and that's what sent him over the edge. Affected his brain. It did, but there are little moments where it touches into sort of real life dementia. You know, like I could almost feel a Parkinson's about his performance, which is is frightening to watch. You know, yeah. Sort of, the, the, how he played the symptoms yeah. of what he's, what he's going through were was really, really good and relatable, and something that you hope you never experience. And I think the key thing is, you know, it, it wasn't over the top, and he was accompanied by Adrian Scarborough. Yeah, boy, it's a really interesting part because he literally comes on five minutes towards the end of the first act yeah he's and not in the first act at all really such a commanding part yes like the the last 60 to 90 seconds of that first act was just magical in this production with the, with him driving it the lighting the music the climax of what this had built up to it was magical he's a, he's a force he's it's not a big guy no, he's a very short guy, actually. But, but boy, is he but masterful he has on the stage. he magnificence on stage and a, a, a huge stature. He's a huge presence when he enters any scene. And I think I would go so far to say as he's one of my favourite current British stage actors. I don't think there's a part I've seen him play that hasn't been magnificent, where yeah. he has got full understanding of the text and the job that is ahead of him. Wonderful man. He's a... Absolute joy. It's worth coming just for those two alone, arguably. Loved Harry Kershaw. <laughs> Harry Kershaw. He was great as well. Fantastic. Oh, stop it, guys. Stop it. It's over there. Just over there. Um, um, as Duke really of like? York, a really subtle performance, but had a huge a comedy and awareness of the scene that he was in at all times, which I really liked. <laughs> um, who else did we like? We loved the Queen as well. Yeah, we absolutely adored. Um, the Queen, played by Deborah Gillett, Queen Charlotte, with her slight German accent and her sort of, she ebbs him on. Uh, they, they're a great, they're a great couple. Great it's, double act. A great double act in so much as they're sort of like each other's sort of little devil on their shoulders. They're each other's like, oh, go on then. It's all a bit sort of tongue in cheek. I it's, quite it's like nice that. It's nice almost seeing, yeah, what goes on behind closed doors. Like and how you that's... imagine the royal family to be with one another, right? <laughs> once they finish doing their, once they, the, the doors are closed, oh, come on then, let's just go <laughs> get a fag and have a drink yeah. sort of thing. That's, that's, it's nice to glimpse into the window of what could be going on behind there. Any other performances? Um, other performances that I particularly <laughs> enjoyed, I liked, put me on the spot here. As if there are any, I mean, the, I mean, it was just a good okay, ensemble. So let's talk about the ensemble. The ensemble crossover in terms of characters. They play many characters. In, in some cases. Um, in, in some cases. So you've got to keep an eye on the wigs because the wigs kind of give away. Are they the same character? Or are they someone different? Yeah. So um, that took a bit of getting used to. Mm -hmm. Also, there is gender blind casting in this as well. Yeah, there's also disabled actors, which are, yeah. is really important. And we champion those sorts of things. So in terms of its diversity. Because it would be, the piece good. is so male dominated as a, as a script it would be if you were a woman in this there's only two female parts and you would Pretty have a, you know you wouldn't have the best of times so thank god these women are getting to you know flex their acting muscles a little bit and do a piece like this so diversity wise it gets our thumbs up let's talk about peace um, well, you said there are two things. I was going to do a, um, a, a, a criticism sandwich. Okay. Um, I so wanted to use another word then. Okay, so let's, let's, let's save well, your second Yeah, thing. let's hold back on the good. Let's talk about the, for me, not so great. Okay. I couldn't care less about the piece. Why I the really, piece? yeah, I think as a script and as a story, I don't know whether it just doesn't work because the political echoes of the story that may have been resonant in the 90s aren't there now, I don't know. Although there is some touches on Brexit and about losing the colonies and our relationship with other parts of the world, which is something to be, you know, lamented. That is there. But overall, I've got to say, in terms of the spoken word, I was bored. Um, so I could tell from Alan Bennett there are some scenes with written 
with real intelligence. I can tell he's a very clever, intelligent writer. There was one scene about King Lear I liked. Yes, there were some real nice moments that were quite clever, some very witty moments. It was almost quite knowing as well, references to Fortnum and Masons, for example. Um, so quite knowing in that we know what happened in Yeah, history. like in jokes and a bit of wit. Yeah, so that was nice. However, I, I do agree. I, I think the actors brought the piece to life. Which but is the piece what should happen, in I itself. Suppose. I was a bit like. Yeah. Mm, okay, I, interesting. Interesting to learn the story. Mm. Interesting to know about. I mean, it'd be George interesting to find out how much factual basis it is. I mean, we're talking about the same King George that is in Hamilton. And now we've got a bit of backstory. <laughs> so, like, you know what, enough, yeah. seeing Hamilton, then seeing this, it was nice to see, okay, that's what's going on for that character, not just, um, you will be back, wait and see, oh, all God. that business. Um, so Pay royalties on that, right? Was, um, royalties. So, uh, it is, I guess it's interesting to see an insight into history. Every day's a learning day. Yeah, and it's you're going to learn day, right? something about, you know, what's going on. So, but in terms of the actual piece, not so much. Not sold. Great again, designer Robert Jones. My God, that set and those costumes yep. as by, I mean, wig designer Richard Morbley and wardrobe supervisor Poppy Hall. My God, beautiful. Absolutely a visual I, best. Um, I really like prosthetics as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you not notice prosthetics in terms of the um, where? in terms of all the boils and the stuff on the legs? He's got some nasty ailments going on, yeah. and that that was really nicely done. Um, so really good makeup. So I mean, costume. visually, like I say, because I'm not bowled over by the script, I think I would enjoy looking at this in production photos. Well, the production photos are quite good as well. Yeah, I mean, they've been scrolling past, maybe you've noticed. But you are absolutely right. Visually, as I mentioned, this is a treat. And really nice lighting as well. I like the lighting. Lighting by Richard Howell. Um, the music moved the piece along quite it's well. It's handled mainly. If anything, there was a lack of underscoring for me. I would have liked more music in incidental moments. I would have liked more music underscoring scenes. Um, also, it moved very swiftly. Many short, segmented scenes, mm -hmm. and they moved very quickly between scenes so that's partly to do with um, the set design that yeah. moved it so swiftly and the also director. the director as well um, to have that vision to make sure it's zippy and drives through yeah anything I, else you want to talk no, about no i think we should rack it up okay well i guess you're probably wondering how many stars we are going to give the madness of george the third playing here at the nottingham playhouse and also going out on an nt live we are going to give Three. Um, it'd be an interesting one for people to see. I'd love to hear people's opinions on this because it has yeah. got a real mix of opinions. Um, and as it's going out on NT Live, it'd be great to hear from you. Yeah. Ultimately, great performances. This is a lovely venue if you can get to the Nottingham Playhouse. Yes. It's friendly. There's not a bad seat in the house. You're going to have a good time here. If you can catch the NT Live 20th of November in your local cinema. So pretty soon, get your tickets booked. Check out your local venue and let us know what you you think because this whole video is just what we think oh my goodness it is just what he thinks and what he thinks so we want to know art is a beautiful subjective form yeah. we want to know what you think of this piece of the performances Leave comment below down let us know below we love to hear you we're the breaker leggers and we'll catch you lovely people again soon bye, bye.